Hello and welcome to 52 Weeks of Angel Connection. My name is Christy Clemens Hoffman. Uh, I tried doing this on YouTube br briefly and my connection at home is very unstable and that made it kind of hard to do. It kept cutting in and out. So this is pre-recorded. My intention was always to do them live to get reaction and uh, take questions. But unfortunately, if you have any questions for me or for this week's guest, <laughs> please put them in the comments and then I will reply. I will respond. So we're all having to do things a little bit differently for the time being. As you can tell, I'm not in my office where I do have a stable internet connection. I'm at home where I have cats walking across the screen and trying to sit on my lap and flicking their tail in my face. And uh, I also have a weak internet connection because my house is 100 years old with plaster walls, which are not conducive to Wi-Fi. But it's a cool house. Anyway, so distractions aside, Annie, you're going to have to move, honey. Distractions aside, we're going to carry on because it is important to remain um, as normal as possible and retain an air of normalcy wherever we can in these uncertain times. So we're doing things a little bit differently. I hope you can hang. All right, today we are speaking with to and about Archangel Raguel. Now on my Facebook page, which is Angel's Guidance with Christy Clemens Hoffman, I do a daily oracle card reading, Monday through Friday, that is. And this morning, uh, I pulled the card for Archangel Raguel, Relationship Harmony, and he delivered a fantastic message. And so I knew that that is who we needed to bring forward today. He didn't necessarily tap me except on the, through the card, but when he did, I knew. I just had that knowing. That's who we needed to focus on this week. So we're going to focus on Archangel Raguel. If you are not familiar with Archangel Raguel, you're not alone. A lot of people have not heard of him. His name is spelled R-A-G-U-E-L. And according to the Doreen Virtue Big Book of Archangels and Ascended Masters, Raguel's, knee, Raguel's name means friend of God. His chief role in heaven is to oversee all of the other archangels and angels. He ensures that they're all working together in a harmonious and orderly fashion, according to divine order and will. Not that they wouldn't, but he just makes sure that everyone's getting along and doing what they need to do. As a result, he's often referred to as the Archangel of Justice and Fairness. Raguel loves to be a champion to underdogs, and he can help those who feel slighted or mistreated become more empowered and respected. Archangel Raguel is enthusiastic and friendly, and he's a battery, meaning that he'll energize you when you need a boost. Think of having a best friend who's a combination attorney, spiritual counselor, therapist, and motivational coach, and you'll have an idea of Raguel's multiple talents and the extent of his helpfulness. Raguel is a loving gentleman who will never interfere with your free will. However, if you ask him for help, he will be there in an instant. So I'd like to return to this phrase, Think of having a best friend who is a combination attorney, spiritual counselor, therapist, and motivational coach. So for that reason, as well as his exceptional talents in mediation, I see him as a type of HR manager, someone in HR that you can go to when you have problems, when somebody's not getting along, when you're having problems, having harmony with your coworkers. And in this case, with everyone being home, your coworkers are your family and your kids. In fact, a friend of mine has a group and a business called The Nurtured Mom. On, uh, and on Facebook, it's The Nurtured Mom Facebook group. And she's a mom coach. She um, helps moms to deal with the stresses that they have. She's an accountability partner, all of that. Mersada Hoffman is her name, no relation. And on that Facebook group, someone had posted, her assistant had posted, um, refer to your children as co-workers and tell us what they're doing. And it was hilarious. So someone said, my co-worker punched his sister and was sent to his room. My co-worker pooped today and um, got a cookie. So it was really pretty funny. Anyway, I digress. So Archangel Raguel, he can help us all get along during this time of what I call personal enforced retrograde, when we're having to go, go, in, go inside and go inside. So um, when we are in close proximity with others, we definitely need some help when it's just 24 seven like this. If you've ever been cooped up with the kids on the day after they've had a fever, a day after they've thrown up for the last time, 
they cannot go to school that day. They need to be fever free, vomit free, diarrhea free for a day and it's the longest day ever. So if you've ever been in that situation or a situation where maybe your car's broken down and you can't go out or it's rainy and the kids are bouncing off the walls or your spouse is um, <clears throat> newly laid off and doesn't know what to do with themselves, um, the constant togetherness can be a little wearing. And I believe that's why Archangel Raguel wanted to come out and talk to us today. So um, I wanna tell you what else Archangel Raguel helps us with arguments and resolving arguments, cooperation and harmony in groups and families, yep. defending the unfairly treated, empowerment, especially for underdogs, mediation of disputes and orderliness. Also during this time, I know in Kansas City, Missouri, where I am located, which is much like many of the places where everyone is located. Most places now are on a very restricted movement type of lockdown. Here, um, it's more, it's not quite shelter in place, but it's stay in place. We're greatly encouraged to stay home, um, can get out for grocery shopping, um, medical needs, um, pharmacy, and gas, and that's about it. Or people who are um, essential workers. And you know, it's so funny, maybe it's not, but hedge fund managers, insurance executives, bank managers, those used to be seen as essential and the most important people in our society. Now we're seeing the most important people in our society are teachers who are having to scramble to figure out how to teach online, doctors and nurses, of course, people who manage and work at gas stations and bank tellers. These are the heroes. These are the people are the most important to keep our society going. I think there's going to be a lot of great revelations during this whole coronavirus pandemic. So I digress again. So Archangel Roth, Raguel is interested in having everyone get along. And he reminded me of um, something that Steve Sanders talks about. Steve Sanders is the life coach for Radiate Wellness. He's been on the Radiate Wellness podcast twice. If you've not listened to the Radiate Wellness podcast, go, subs go subscribe now because you've got some time on your hands. Go subscribe, share, rate, and review, if you please, wherever you like to listen to podcasts, as long as that's Apple, Google, and Spotify, as well as YouTube. Okay, we're on YouTube too. So since you're on YouTube now, you can just head over to our channel and see all of our podcast episodes. So anyway, Steve Sanders is um, well-versed and trained in conversational intelligence. He is a um, work-life coach with the federal government, as well as he's got his own private practice coaching individuals who are not in the federal government. But Steve Sanders uh, talks about conversational intelligence and upregulating and downregulating. In fact, tomorrow, which is March 24th, Fourth, our podcast episode released will be with all of the Radiate group talking about about 10 minutes for how we would approach stress and wellness during this enforced quarantine. And he talks about upregulation and downregulation, which is all conversational intelligence. And so um, I am reminded of that to bring that to you right now. So upregulation and downregulation. Upregulation is good feelings. Downregulation, of course, is negative feelings. So when we are speaking with someone and we are delivering positive messages, uplifting messages, gentle, loving messages, then the neurotransmitters in the person we're speaking with release positive hormones. You know, uh, I don't know, like oxytocin and... Um, um, other types of positive hormones that give us a feeling of well-being. I hope oxytocin is the right word. They give us a feeling of well-being, give us a feeling of peace. And that effect lasts up to six hours. And that's wonderful. 
However, if we are downregulating someone, we are criticizing, we are critiquing, we are delivering harsh words, harsh tone, harsh energy to this other person, neural transmitters are releasing negative chemicals in the brain and through that, that person's body in terms of cortisol and adrenaline, making us feel agitated, stressed, anxious. And that effect, that effect lasts up to 48 hours, two whole days. So in this time of enforced togetherness, let's try and keep it more positive because it takes a whole lot of uplifting to counteract the damaging effect of downregulation. Six hours of positive versus 48 hours of negative. So we have to do a lot. And so what happens when we are downregulated? It's gonna happen. We're all stressed, we're all anxious, and we're all bouncing off the walls. What's gonna happen? So to help mitigate some of those effects, get outside. Grounding can be super, super helpful. And we do receive positive endorphins. That's the word. Endorphins, we receive positive energy from the earth and from being outside. So we can do that. Hugs can also fill us with these good feeling chemicals. There are things we can do. So it's gonna happen and we're gonna get on each other's nerves. That's just the way it's gonna be. So we can just try to do our best to manage our stress, um, do our best to remain flexible, re do our best to keep up with the changing climate and the changing times but we can get outside, we can meditate, we can walk. Radiate Wellness is coming up with some um, ideas for how to help you and how to support you, so just please watch out for that. Okay, so let's talk with and to Archangel Raguel. Let me see if he's willing to come through. The light of God surrounds me, the love of God holds me, the power of God protects me, and the presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is, and all is well. Okay, he started coming through before I even got the first sentence into that. Okay, he's coming forward with this beautiful blue, kind of like Archangel Michael, but this beautiful blue color today. Um, he's very, he's, his shoulders are very broad. He says, I can handle so much of the stress. And he, he's showing me how his shoulders are getting broader and adapt as people are starting to wig out and need his assistance. Um, so he said, don't, don't worry, I can take it. He wants you to call on him. So he's with us. All of the archangels are with us. They can't interfere with what we're doing. However, they can nudge us, tap us on the shoulder and say, and just give us a suggestion. It's, we're up, it's up to us. We are free to take that suggestion or not. So if something's telling you, oh, I just want to get outside, it's probably tapping from an archangel or ascended master. Go outside. So um, he's wanting us to know that he is ready, willing, and able to take on all of our conversation issues. Okay. He's also telling me that we need to make sure and make peace wherever possible, and it's always possible. Haven't spoken with your grandmother in several years because there was a rift. Um, don't speak to your brother anymore because of the same thing. Uh, any family member, friend. It's time, it's time to heal those, heal those wounds. If you're not sure how to do that, let me know and I will help you with that. Um, it's time to heal these things because now more than ever, we need our support system, we need our family, we need our network, we truly do. It's time to grow and it's time to move forward. And who knows, perhaps this person that you're having difficulty with, this family member who is very hard-headed, hard-hearted, maybe this family member is feeling the, <clears throat> the result of isolation and social distancing, um, has had some time to think about things, has had some time to feel things. I would suggest paving the way, pave the way. In my introspective hypnosis sessions, which I can do online, by the way, we were online before online was really cool. Introspective hypnosis sessions can help you tap into somebody else's consciousness. 
but you can do this on your own. It's called the hero's journey. Taking the hero's journey puts you in the other person's not only shoes, but their mindset as well. Get into their mindset. So what we can do is just sit very quietly, hands on heart, and then just ask your higher self if you can connect with this person who you're having difficulty with. Ask if you can do that. And then wait for the answer. It'll either be a yes or no. If you're not sure, just take that as a yes. If you receive a solid no, it's not time for them. Pick somebody else that you're having a difficult time with. But if you get that feeling of yes, or even that feeling of uncertainty, just do, in your mind, start having a conversation with this other person. You can't get it wrong. They're not going to hear you with their ears. They're going to hear you with their heart, hopefully. Have a conversation with this person and be open. Be open to whatever you're hearing or feeling them saying back to you. Be open. Let their words, their energy they're sending you heal your heart and heal your hardness. I feel this is powerful, very powerful. So I want to give thanks and gratitude to Archangel Raguel for planting these seeds in my brain space for stepping forward to lend his beautiful energy it is subtle but it is very good it is subtle yet strong if that makes any sense i hope this has been some help to you i hope you can go forward this week and mend some fences or at least pre-pave the road to mending those fences maybe go buy the materials to mend the fence baby steps right draw up your plan for how you're going to mend that fence and then do that work. What else are you going to do this week, right? All right. Until next week, I am Christy Clemens Hoffman. You can connect with me at Radiate Wellness Community. You can comment below in the messages. I do read them. You can find me on Facebook at Radiate, at, well, at Radiate Wellness LLC and, uh, and Angel's Guidance with Christy Clemens Hoffman. All right. We're getting together some subscription packages that should help everyone to manage this stressful time with wellness and sanity. Um, we're doing subscription packages so that we can help you to maintain a regular um, energy healing schedule and or spiritual coaching, spiritual connection and life coaching, even diet and wellness. We're, we're working on some subscription options for you so that you can continue healing and save money because you're going to need it. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. Bye.